Okay, his question is, are these the boards? He doesn't see a spring. That's because I didn't hold it up very good, all right? This is called, this is a regular offshore planer board. And they've got a nice booth over here and can show you this stuff right up close. This is a regular one with a flag. You know, I do put my clips on both on the same arm. This is how I set up my boards when I'm crankbait fishing, especially summertime fast crankbait fishing. All right, I put my line from my rod into this clip. I put the line to the lure in that clip, set it in the water and it planes out to the side and spreads out my lures. When a fish hits, the weight of the fish will pull this board back and in. I read that, I reel this in, I take the board off and then I fight the fish in. So it's an inline board, it goes right on your line until you get a fish and then you pull it in and clip it off. This board here is something I do use for spinners especially, it's called a tattle flag. It's set up a little bit different. The reason is, is because remember how slow I talked about pulling these spinners 0.8, one mile an hour? Wallace will oftentimes grab that spinner and then just swim along. Oh, this is fine. A little pulling between my teeth like dental floss, this is all right. You know, I'll just swim along. But eventually they get tired of it and they open their mouth the spinner pulls out and off you keep trolling. Because they're swimming along on a conventional setup, this might drop back a little, but not very far. And then it's just running out there. Hard to read. Hard to tell you got a fish on there. So what we do in that case, when we're getting these, especially with spinners and the slow speed and the lighter bites, what we'll use is a tattle flag. We go from our rod into the clip, then we leave a loop of line, and then we go into this back clip. And this back clip is hitched up to a piece of wire and the idea behind this is you take this spring in the front and you set it and there's different holes here you set it to the tension so that whatever's pulling behind it my spinner and bottom bouncer or my spinner and split shot or my spinner and snap weight whatever's behind it just barely so that that flag stays up but any additional tension and that flag pulls down so you set the spring first set it in the water and then that fish will pull it down when you're spinner fishing, a lot of times you'll see this running and all of a sudden you'll see this deal and then up the flag will come. That was a fish biting it and then letting go. Kind of like a bobber, you kind of read it like that. If you see that, and when I'm fishing tournaments, believe me, my co-angler stares at one side of the boards. Just stare at them boards. And if you see one of them flags jiggle, the first thing you do when them, that fish lets go is you grab that rod and you quickly drop the rod tip to the, rod, to the fish. What that does is make this boat, it was cruising along, it got its little bite, and then you stop and you drop that rod tip, this boat, board will stop in the water. It'll kind of look like it's going backwards because your boat is still going that way, but it stops. When it stops, whatever weight starts to flutter down, the spinner follows it. Many times that fish will think that that, that bait was hurt, wounded, he hurt it, and it'll go right after it and eat it. So you can see those bites, drop your rod tip, and a lot of times get a secondary bite. I'm big on second chance bites. <laughs> I, I never tell you I get the first one, but I get a lot of the second ones, jigging or doing this. So that's why this tattle flag is very important, especially for spinner fishing, or like this gentleman said, the other thing is you gotta worry about is things like white bass and perch and stuff, biting that crawler and getting stuck on there. I've fished a lot of tournaments crankbaits or spinners where guys will be fishing alongside of me and I'll look behind their board and I'll see a secondary wake. Some little fish they're dragging and maybe have been dragging for hours. All right, if that little fish is on there, you ain't gonna get a walleye to bite it. So you gotta make sure your, your lures are running clean and a tattle flag is gonna help you do that.